user global area okay so again the collection of the package variable and the value define the package state the variable the function that you define inside a package it define the package state it is initialized when the package is first loaded persistent by default for the life of a session it is stored in a user global area means where everybody can access the information it is unique to each session subject to change when package sub program are called or public variable are modified it not persistent for the session but the persistent for the life of a sub program okay so life of a, uh, it is not uh, persistent for a uh, for a sub program that uh, sorry it is not a persistent for a session it means what whenever you define any variable and function in a pl sql it is not uh allocate to the particular session session means when you are login to a particular session or login to a id uh, by giving your id and password at that timing your session is created so when you do any kind of uh, information or any kind of uh, modification in your data or working with your data so it is valid for that particular session suppose uh, when we open um live oracle sql so every time we have to create a table employee table but the software that you have installed in your system so there is no requirement to install it again so it it saying that uh, it it means that the table that um, insert update deletion that you are performing that the user is created that is only for that session once you log out again you have to create a table but the persistent stage of a package is saying that it is available for all the time so there is no need to create uh, that thing again and again clear bujhela subham sefali sefali bu okay the collection of the package variable value define the package state the package state is initialized when the package is first loaded okay so uh, here it's saying that not persistent for the session but persistent for the life of a sub program using pragma so if you want to store your information for lifetime or life of a sub program we are using serially reusable in the package specification so when you are using serially reusable in the package specification every time you are getting the information so your information is not destroyed so here it is having a description the collection of public and private package variable <coughs> are represent the package state for the user session that is the package state is a set of value store in all the package variable at a given point of time in general the package state exist for the life of the user session package variable are initialized at the first time of a package is loaded into the memory for a user session package variable are by default unique to the session and hold their value until the user session is terminated in other word the variable are stored in the user global area memory allocated by the database for each user session package state changes when the sub program is invoked and its logic uh, modify the variable state so what it saying that the collection of public and private package variable are represent the package state okay the collection of public and private variable which is represent the package state for the user session that is the package state is a set of value that is stored in all the package variable 
at a given point of time. In general, the package state exists for the user session. Package variable are initialized the first time the package is loaded. So when your package is loaded, when you are executed a package, at that timing, your variable is initialized. The package variable are by default unique to each session. The package variable is unique to the each session. Suppose the photo or the ID and password that you are given to open your Facebook, that is unique for you. It is not allocated to the other, your ID, your Gmail ID, or uh, your user ID, you can say your con contact number when you're trying to log in. So it is a unit. The package state manages when the package subprogram is invoked and its logic modify the variable state. Public package state can be directly modify the operation appropriate to its type. Pragma signify the statement is a compiler directive. Pragma are process at compile time, not at runtime. They do not affect the meaning of a program. They simply convey the information about the compiler. If you add pragma serially reusable to the package specification, then database store the package variable in the system global area. So in the SGA, you are storing the information. Share across the user session. In this case, the package state, package state is maintained to the life of a subprogram called as a single reference to the package construct. When you write Pragma serially reusable. Okay. So this component, it is used to make any declaration or retrieval of any information as uh, lifetime you can access it. Name, bar bar table table create So you can uh, access all the information at a time. The serially reusable directive is useful if you want to conserve memory and if package state doesn't need to persist for each user session. Next, this pragma is appropriate for the package that declare large temporary work area that are used once and not needed during the subsequent database call in the same session. The pragma is a appropriate for package and declare a large temporary memory area. So it is creating a large temporary memory area that are used once and not due, uh, needed during the subsequent database call in the same session. Means once you are declaring a variable, once you are declaring procedure, once you are declaring a function, then in the session, you can access it. So there is no need to create it again and again. If you close the session or log out your database, log out from the database, again you are logging, then again you have to create it. So that when you are using a pragma, then it is helping you uh, till the lifetime of your package, till your package is present, then your procedure and function or the variable that you are defined inside the function is present over there. The global, me uh, global memory for serially reusable packages pool the system global area it is not allocated to the individual user, user global area. That the way package work area are used. When the call to the server end, the memory is written to the pool. Each time the package is reused, its public variable are initialized to the default value to null. So how you define the package state of a cursor. So uh, here we have to define the cursor package, how the cursor package is working. So let's see the example.
So here we define the package cursor. Create package cursor package procedure open. Then here we define return boolean. So we are defining a cursor here. Create cursor package function return boolean value. So procedure is function, function name is next and parameter value we are initializing was one. Only we uh, define the function specification. Then here we define the package body. Create or replace package body cursor is cursor name. So select employee ID from employee table. So before that I am creating a table here. Create table employee. Add select star from HR dot Sir employee. Uh -huh. Nice and nice. And. Nice, sir. 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 Nice, The cursor package, cursor name is cur underscore c, select employee id from employee table. So it is retrieve all the record from the employee table and store in the cursor. Then it is open the, it is open the procedure. If cursor is not open, then it is open the cursor. Then we are defining function. Function name is next. Default parameter we are passing as a run. A one, it is return the boolean value. V dot employee id. So it is retrieve the employee ID from employee table and here we are using for loop till your employee IDs are present. It is fetching the record and it is close the cursor. So after that, sir, just uh, after table create for the city employer spelling the. Nicer a table create color. Ida kotha kuchh ho? Ha sir, O Y E. Sir, create table Create. 
okay so package body is created here then we first execute where open the cursor first cursor is open then we retrieve the record लाइन नंबर फिफ्टीन Yes, sir. So either you have to execute in this way, or you can write in the begin in cursor statement. Clear? So here we are uh, cover the cursor package. So next class we go for the using associative array. Okay, we cover using associative array in this chapter. We will do over. Four point two one. Okay, so next class we go for it.